I'm Dr. Greg McDonald, and I'm a veterinarian in Southern California. Uh, this is Zach, and we're going to talk just a little bit about why it's important to keep your dog vaccinated for kennel cough. Dogs that are uh, in uh, a kenneling uh, situation frequently or, or grooming, or oftentimes if they're just nose-to-nose uh, -nose on the beach a lot, that's how this is transmitted from one dog to another. And so the way that uh, owners can tell is partly because of the history, if they've either been at a humane society or at a boarding facility, about three to five days later, they'll start coughing. And one of the ways veterinarians check to see if they're kennel cough is they kind of put a little pressure on the trachea. And let's see if uh, Zach here is going to do a little cough for us. That's kind of what it sounds like, a little cough like that. And again, uh, you, you will notice if it happens at homes that the dogs start coughing, sometimes a little bit of white foam might come up. Um, they may run a low-grade fever if you're able to take a dog's temperature, but what we see is what we call a non-productive cough. They keep coughing and retching and gagging, and they'll often keep you up at night. You need to see your veterinarian, uh, even though this is uh, caused by a, bi a virus and a bacteria, we do put them on antibiotics to try and get a little bit of control. And oftentimes, because it's a non-productive cough, we like to put them on a cough suppressant. And again, so if you see your dog coughing with a little bit of history uh, right after your dog has been boarded or been in a, a boarding facility or grooming facility about three to five days later, check with your veterinarian that may have come down with kennel cough. This is one of the products that we like to use at McDonald Animal Hospital to suppress the cough. We call it Torbval Syrup. It's Torbutrol uh, with a special good tasting syrup that we use for the dogs because they like the taste of it. We also like to put dogs on antibiotics, and we like to use antibiotics that are secreted well into the respiratory tract. Uh, I like Tribrisin uh, is one of the ones that I use mostly when we have a kennel cough case, uh, and we usually put them on antibiotics to help suppress the bacteria and prevent them from getting a, a bacterial infection in the lung tissue. So that would be pneumonia if we don't treat it.